Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to another week of YouTube art therapy videos. Um, for today's prompt, we are going to be uh, talking about what makes a house feel like home. Um, so it doesn't matter the space that you're living in. It could be a house, an apartment, a condo, a basement suite. Um, wherever you are, what is it that makes the space that you are in feel like home to you? Um, so the first part of this is we're going to draw out that space that you're living in. Now there's a few ways that you can do this. Um, it's totally open to whatever kind of fits you best. So you can either draw where you're currently living. You can draw a place from the past if that is a place that feels more like home to you. Or if none of those places are feeling like home and you need an escape from that, you can draw a new place that has all of the things that would make it feel like home. So all of those necessities. So um, first, take a second and think about which one of those you would like to do. I'm going to stick with um, the place that I'm living right now. Um, and then so take some time and just draw it out, sketch it out. You can do it from the outside. You can have um, it kind of drawn so that you can see the inside of the house. It's not, we're not going to be a picky about it. Um, so just take this time right now, draw out the space that you're living in, uh, and we'll come back after that. All right, so once you have just like a nice, vague uh, sketch of your house, like I said, it can be the inside, the outside, a specific room. Um, it can be more detailed than mine, totally um, up to you. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about what it means um, for something to feel like home. And this is gonna feel different um, to everyone. So if what I'm saying doesn't uh, you can't relate to it, then that's okay. Um, just trust what your own heart is telling you. Um, so what does it mean for something to feel like home? Personally, a home for me is a place where you feel safe. It's a place that you have um, personal responsibility in. Um, it's a place where you have your belongings. Um, stuff like that. And so even for uh, people that are living uh, with roommates or aren't living in their own house, um, the house may not be theirs, but there are things in the house that make it feel um, like it's theirs. Um, so I want you guys to think about what home means to you. And just wherever on your page, I'm gonna write it just somewhere outside anywhere around here. I'm just gonna write down a few things of what the word home means to me. Okay, so that's it's a really broad um, kind of question. Uh, don't stress about it too much. Just think, think of the word home and what other words come to mind when you think about it.
All right, so just for um, an example, some of the things that I put down, um, so th things that make a house feel like a home for me is having uh, my personal possessions, um, privacy, safety, security, um, art or photos on the wall that um, mean something to me or that are mine, um, having a reflection of your personal taste or style, so whether that means um, your whole house is that way or you just have a space that is reflective of who you are. Um, that could mean the bedding is something that you chose or you got to decorate the walls or you put up pictures or it could be um, somewhere that you've had a lot of memories. Um, or it could be things um, as basic as having running water, a kitchen, a full fridge, um, having love. Um, I also put my dog and uh, my fiance, um, people that, people and things that make my house feel like home. So again, there's tons of answers that you could put here. Um, fill it up as much as you can. Um, so from here, what I want you to do is kind of go one by one with the things that you've written. I'll start maybe with running water over in this corner. And I'm going to kind of draw where that might show up in the house or what, or why it's important, I guess. So for running water, for showers, for washing dishes, um, for doing laundry, all that important stuff. So I'm gonna kind of represent those on the page and then I'm gonna draw an arrow to running water and then I'm gonna move on to the next one which is reflection of myself or my taste and style. And I'm going to um, paint some of, or paint, but uh, color in some of the walls, maybe a color that, that I've chosen or do my bedspread or couches that I've bought, things that represent my personal style. And then again, I'm gonna draw lines to that and I'm gonna go all through the things that I've written down to make sure but they're all represented in my home. Okay, so uh, take your time on this part and we will come back when we are all done. Also, before we start that, um, if you just wanna draw symbols of these things, that's totally cool. You don't actually have to put them in the exact spots that they are in the house. Um, don't worry about getting too detailed with it. Just make sure that um, it's represented somewhere in your house in some way, whatever way makes sense to you. Okay.
Okay, so when you have all of these um, images reflecting the things that make a house feel like a home, I want you to go through each one and just, um, you can check mark it, you can circle it, however you want to do this. Um, but I want you to reflect on whether or not you have this in your home um, or if it's something you would like to incorporate in your home, maybe to make it feel a little bit more like home. Um, and just recognize kind of what what you have that makes you feel like you're at home and um, maybe things that are missing and what you can do to kind of make yourself feel more comfortable in the space that you're living in. So take this time now, I'm gonna grab like a highlighter orangey color and I'm just gonna go through each one and check mark whether or not I've got this or this or this or this or this in my house um, or make a note of if I want more of something or how I can make that work, um, but just keep it simple, okay? All right, and so lastly, um, if the, is there anything that you could add or that you would want to add to the space that you're living in to make it feel more like home? Um, so whether that means putting up twinkle lights or changing the color of the paint or um, bringing in more stuff of, that's your own or creating your own artwork to put on the walls, is there anything that you would like, whether it's realistic or not, to add to the space that you're living in to make it feel more yours. Okay, so you can add that anywhere you like um, and then we will come to a close after that. So we've talked about the word home um, and other words that kind of come to mind when you think about what it means to have a home and um, not just a space that isn't yours, but a space that really feels like you belong there. Um, and we've got words that reflect that and images of things that should reflect that and ideas of things that maybe you would change or add to your space to help it feel a little bit more like home. And I think um, having a place that feels like home is especially important in these times when we're spending so much time at home. Um, so I hope this helps in some way or is a good reflection on that. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day.